Hello, friends, Romans, Jamaicans, countrymen. Lend me your ear. All right, guys, it's another week. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nella, for those of you who don't know, and this is Just Nella, where I do travel, lifestyle, and reviews. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm a full-time travel and lifestyle content creator, as well as a full-time, I shouldn't even say full-time, I'm a part-time travel and lifestyle content creator, but I am a full-time medical doctor, right? See, I'm messing up my own little intro. How rude. Anyway, so yeah, I'm a part-time content creator, but full-time medical doctor, and this is my channel where I will do another week in my life vlog where I take you through what I do in a week. Boy, sometimes I watch your vlogs and I'm like, boy, my life is so, so uninteresting. Like, what am I doing with my life? Anyways, it's another week. It is the week of March 27th to April 2nd. So, it's the end of March and the beginning of April. Now, I skipped the whole of yesterday. Supposed to be rude, but did not end up the story of my life because I've become so lackadaisical when it comes on to going on trips. I'm going to change that for quarter two. But it's the end of the first quarter of the year. First three months gone already. Backside. What is going on? But anyways, it's the end of quarter two. And beginning, I mean, end of quarter one, beginning of quarter two. Last week in March, first day of April going to be on Friday. So, you know, that is where we are. So today is Monday, March 28th. It is a duty day, hence why I'm in scrubs. I realize I wear a lot of blue scrubs, like, I wear a lot of blue in general. Guess it's my color. I think I might try and switch it up for spring, but I don't really have no other colors in my closet yet. <laughs> Anyways, so, 28th of March, I'm on my way to work, to do the government's work, and you know, you know the usual pre, Monday morning traffic, and I'm doing the damn thing. So, how are you guys doing? How was your first quarter of the year? Have you accomplished some of your goals? Did you do anything that you were excited about? Leave it. Oh, let me stop. We blow wobble. Yeah. Let me hold on until I stop. We blow wobble at the next stop line because I don't know if you're hearing me. So yeah, as I was saying, how has the first three months of the year been for you guys? Have you guys started accomplishing any goals on your way to accomplishing goals? Living your dream life? Doing things, fun things, outside open up, outside of the road? Like, the only thing is that, as I said in my last video, guys, you need to be careful on the road. Because unfortunately, one of my classmates actually died this week in a car accident. Yes, young medical doctor, really nice guy. He was a really, really nice guy and he died and it's just like so many people have been losing their lives recently and it's really sad so i implore you be safe all right guys so I'll, all right guys so i'll catch you in the next clip but i really hope you guys have a wonderful week and let's have a wonderful day today all right i'll see you guys on our trip It's the ocean. That you give it to me. It's just the ocean. No. Bedtime. So, it is bedtime. I'm on It is like 2 o'clock. So, today is a clinic day. Close call. Hi guys, close call, Penny. I know what you are. Is this shit real? I contemplate that how I feel. But you make it way too hard to think that this could be what you love.
Hello wonderful and gorgeous and amazing people. So today is Wednesday, March 30th and this is a week in my life as a trying doctor in the Medellin main streets of Kingston, Jamaica. We are here hustling. We are here making shmoney moves. We are here doing the damn thing. But yeah. So today I'm heading to work. You know, the usual my last week as the floater of the month next week i am placed on a firm <laughs> on the firm struggles but yeah that's what i'm up to next week um today is wednesday so i'm on a firm they have rounds and then i'm going to go to another firm's clinic struggles who is me who is me anyways so you know just listening to the radio having some fun having some music listening to some music and having some fun <laughs> that is what i'm doing anyways heading to work right that is a pre oh my god so this week this week i met a subscriber she oh you're so cool i've been meeting more and more subscribers even at work <laughs> It's so weird. I'm so awkward. I hope I wasn't the most awkward person. I'm so awkward when people meet me. I'm like, you know me? <laughs> That's how it feels like. You know me? Like, wow. But yeah, so I'm a subscriber. Woo! Shout out to you. Awesome. She is a nursing student and it's really, really cool. And she came up to me in the, uh, the canteen. I was like, oh my god. I don't know I don't know how to react when people recognize me because you know I'm like a general nice person but I just don't know it's just like stage fright like you know me <laughs> anyways and she told me that she really enjoyed the weekly vlog so I just want to give her a shout out um her name is I don't remember it's it stands with a net like a Bennett Barnett in it something of the sort I don't remember I was trying to take notes but I did not get it but yeah I met her on Monday yeah it was Monday that I met her because Monday is when I went to the canteen I didn't go yesterday so yeah that's when I met her it was really cool she was a really she was really nice she was there with her friends and she came over and she said oh I'm a subscriber hey just Nella I was like oh oh my god it was so weird but yeah, or when my co-workers, a lot more of my co-workers are saying like, Hey, Dr. Green, I watch your vlogs. And I'm just like, Whoa. I'm just like, awesome, cool, S subscribe. <laughs> I could always, I always appreciate the subscribers and the viewers and the watch and the likes and the shares and everything. So thanks you guys for supporting me on this journey through YouTube. Anyways, yeah, that's enough of me chattering. Let me go back to the struggles of trying to get to work. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, guys. And I'll see you when I am, you know, when I'm doing something else more interesting and not just sitting in my car, chatting. Alright, <laughs> later. Also, if you guys notice, I twisted my hair. Like, tell you about shrinkage, you know. Look at this length. This is the length, you know. And it just shrink. Tell you guys about this shrinkage. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so I decided to twist my hair instead of just go through life with my hair come up in a one and not looking the nicest one ever. Not nice and not neat. So I decide to just twist it up and then when I feel the vibes. I will do a twist out on twist it and do a twist out you know try pretend like someone offered natural hair 
like me know of a comb hair. I, it's not even natural or not or or processed or whatever. Me just know of comb hair like that. It was not my forte growing up. I was more of a do my nails kind of girl. So I know how to do. Actually, you know how to do my own nails, and I probably could do my own nails. But I like being a pampered, so I'm going to commit to having them done. But yeah. My my sister, Ornika, the one who follows me, she's the one who's more of a hair person. So when I really want, when I do, when I used to be at home, sometimes used to have her do my hair, so that I can <laughs> look presentable because she's more of a hair person than I am. So yeah, but yeah, I also like my mother made me go through some really, really, really. Um, I call it my ugly kino days because boy, picking hairstyle it never did cute, you know. Me hairstyle never used to cute. <laughs> it's just painful and not cute. Like wow. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so yeah, that's the latest update. I twisted my hair. You can see these twists. And it's just a free twist. We never really like heart up the hair too properly so hopefully it don't look too too terrible yeah that's me I don't even know how the back really look but I mean it looks neat that's all I can say and my skin is still looking you know good with the products so hi <laughs> anyways I'll see you guys in the next clip air frying some nuggets and fries so here it is so I'm just gonna look at no no tell me some nails them look nice look how girls nails look nice anyways <laughs> yeah so I'm just air frying some nuggets and fries for lunch
As I told you guys in previous vlogs, I'm the floater of the month, meaning that I'm the resident who replaces residents who are, you know, off for the day or whatever. And so today, let me go on smoother textures. So yeah, I'm the floater resident, which means I'm the resident who, you know, replaces residents who are off for the day or whatever. So today I am replacing or I'm substituting for the MFM resident. MFM is maternal fetal medicine. So it's a specialized area within obstetrics for those of you who don't know. And what happens is that they deal with the ultra, ultra high risk patients. So you know you have high risk patients. So in obstetrics, you're considered high risk if you have general medical conditions, diabetes, hypertension, um, just you're generally a high risk patient but for ultra high risk patients you know the monochorionic twins the twins who share the same placenta and the same sac or the rhesus isoimmunization patient or the patients with um, brain tumors and or stuff like that they go to MFM so they're also seen by the high risk for just general continuous follow up but they'll or MFM may completely take over their management because you know they think that they're best equipped to make sure these patients or MFM may, may take over the management because they're best equipped to ensure these patients are properly managed and everything is done for them so that is what maternal fetal medicine is and also the patients usually get when they come for their visits they get routine ultrasounds just to check on the well-being of the baby and uh, stuff like that so that's what i'm doing today um it's cool this is my second time i did it last week and i'm doing it again this week um as i said it's really intimate and it's a it's a much smaller clinic than like a general antenatal clinic or a general um gyne clinic or anything like that it's a much smaller clinic because i mean there are not that many ultra high risk patients in the name of jesus but anyway yesterday let me tell you yesterday clinic was pan demonium i don't know where so much patients come from but <laughs> clinic was madness it was so full so so full but yeah that was that was yes. I didn't even bother recording clinic testing like I would normally do because uh, man, where so much people come from. It was uh, full plus tax. Man, oh, I don't know. Anyway, so today, let's see what is on the agenda. Today I have to get my brows waxed. I remember last week I had the appointment on friday so i rescheduled it to today at one o'clock so i have to get my brows wax and then yeah that i have you know the usual gym pre gym pre gym pre gym pre gym pre uh yeah the usual gym pre today at five so yeah, that's what my day is looking like um yeah i don't know i don't know i need to be like oh uh, I have a lunch date. Oh, I'm having a brand deal. <laughs> like it's so like, what am I doing in my days other than work? <laughs> work is interrupting with my dream life. <laughs> I want to work. I need a flexible schedule. I can work for a certain number of hours, and the rest of the time I can spend doing certain things. But yeah, <laughs> that is the pre for the day. I also have some follow ups, like calls and stuff. So yeah. Brows done. Look like a human again, don't it? <laughs> nice arch. What do you think? 
frames my face. All right. Baby. Alright guys, so I'm heading out to the gym now. Today I'm training with somebody else because my actual trainer said he wasn't going to be here today. So I'm training with his train like his the the other owner of the personal training who he sometimes helps me when he's there because he will have clients there and he'll sometimes help me in between so yeah so someone different let's see how this works out <laughs> Hello beautiful people, it's Friday, hi, happy Friday, so today is the 1st of April, can you believe it, three months out of the year have officially ended and today is the start of a new month, so have you guys looked back? And have you achieved any of the goals that you set for March, January, February? Or, you know, are you like, ugh, I'm over the year already. But, I mean, we still have nine months left. So, if there's anything, you can at least just focus on one thing. And see how far it can get you and where you can achieve. So, my theme, well, I'll tell you guys in a video. I'm going to make a video about, like, my April or my second quarter reset. Well, April my reset my goals and stuff like that since you know i did it in february and you guys enjoyed it i think i'm gonna do one again in april since it's the start of a new quarter so you guys can know some of my intentions how i'm going to be trying to budget and adjust my budget for this this quarter and other things like that so look out for that video it'll probably be like next week because i haven't filmed it yet and i need to clear my head and write these things down so I am on my way to work and honestly today is Friday and I don't know why there is so much traffic on the road. It's Friday, you know. It's Friday. This is unacceptable. But anyways, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, like um I'm gonna shoot a video about my April goals, my April reset, and I think maybe I could try to do a monthly goal video so that I can, you know be kept accountable so that you guys can keep me accountable so that i don't become a bum in these streets because you know bum life is not it unless you know you're a trophy wife but other than that and if you're a trophy wife your job is wife it's not bum. <laughs> so yeah the bum life is not going to be it and for now i need to you know try and level up my game and you know improve all of the things that i have you know on my plate and actually be more productive you guys would be surprised at how unproductive i feel or i am most of the times so yeah working on that productivity for april so yeah i'm gonna do a uh, april resets routine anyways so what are some of the things you guys have planned for the year the month or anything like that like i like to know we can keep each other accountable we can become my accountability partners so i can you know so that we can actually accomplish some of these goals today is also one of my friend's birthday chantel so chantel it's the chantel who was in the dinner the shea maria dinner the one who had just come back from america so that Chantel today is her birthday so happy birthday Chantel hope you have a wonderful day and you know enjoy it to the fullest so yeah today is her birthday I told her I have a birthday already but you know I can always shout her out on the vlog uh, my car is filthy so I need to try and get to the car wash today sometime hopefully I don't like to do 
weekend things when like certain things i don't like to do on the weekend like saturday or sunday because i just feel that's when most people have time so i do like to do it then i prefer to do it like friday during the week and not on like saturday or sunday so yeah that's what i'm doing right now just sitting in traffic and all of these people um some of these people you say driving by like here what they're trying to do is to double lane double road drive and then cut over while the rest of us are sitting at like good peaceful citizens in the traffic and most of them are taxi van too most of them are taxi man anyways again this is a reminder to be safe on the roads like oh my god the sun the moon the stars yeah be safe on the road the roads because yo especially today's friday i know enough people could go out, go drink go party go do all of that mm -mm. be safe on the roads it's so funny i see on twitter where some uh, where a lot of the party people are complaining that they more about curfew Cause them don't know why <laughs> them like when the party them used to start early. <laughs> them them can't bother with the late night party again. Them want we come out <laughs> and come back in by one o'clock. It's just so funny how things have changed since you know the whole pandemic. People are now like, yeah, we like our homes, so we won't go out, you know, because we miss socializing, but. We don't want to be out till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Not like one time. We're not up to it anymore. We want to be inside by a certain time. So, it's just so hilarious to me. But, I mean, it's a change. It's a new world order. Things are going to change. It's You can't expect the world to stay the same after what we've been through the past two years. And we're still going through because we still have a lot of measures in place, you know so i mean even though we have no curfew anymore that don't mean that me no want you socially distance from me i enjoyed social distancing from from people because when know old jamaica love each other people so you know jesus you're in the line and it's just like can you leave room for the holy ghost and the saints and then i like you know honestly i like i think anybody who's sick should wear a mask like from your sick you must keep wearing mask i don't care i don't care if it's covid or not from your sick you need to keep wearing your mask because it just you know it works out it works out hey okay, so this morning i'm having a true shake for breakfast this is my breakfast because i don't really eat eat for breakfast unless it's like fruits or something i ain't try and do that but while i'm sitting in the car i'm having my true shake this is the butter pecan it's a nutrition shake and the serving size is 8.45 fluid ounces you'd think this is an act but it's not you might think this song is about you don't you but it's not So today, as I said, it's Friday. Today I have a class in the morning. The traffic is hindering my progress. And also, I am going on the ward, post live reward. And yeah, that's it. I think that's my day for today. Other than that, I think that's it. I'm looking at my Sunday. Like, I am next week going to be a, a bit of a challenge because I'm on duty 24 hours on Sunday. And then on Monday, because I'm going back to my firm you know my my month of lollygalgin and palancing 
and palaving all about the place has ended so i am being sent back to my firm you know like sent to the detention room anyways <sighs> my firm actually has surgeries on mondays so i'll be post call and have for the surgery make it worse is gynae surgery well we have both gynae and obstetric surgery but i'm going to be in the gynae surgery aspect ah oh boy and then i will also be on call that day so that means that we can get calls up to four o'clock it's a rough it's rough i just hope that it's not a long day because and i hope say sunday is not a bad duty because i realize i'm i'm the energy <laughs> as in Honestly, since I've taken my vitamins, I've been feeling a lot more energetic as well as I've been taking melatonin. I need to show you guys the one I've been taking, but as I tell you, I've been taking melatonin in the nights, getting some of the best sleep I've gotten in years. Honestly, I'm like, why haven't I been taking this all this time? But yeah, so my energy has improved, but... I realize that my willingness to do all of this is not there as much anymore because I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I'm just praying for a very good Sunday duty because God see I know. God see I know. Finished. Yeah, I was just checking it's really finished. I can't believe it. <laughs> As you guys saw, I stopped by Wendy's, so I got a um, the barbecue chicken with bacon sandwich. Um, sandwich, barbecue chicken with bacon salad. Here's the new tea. Wendy says they are no longer doing half salads; they're only doing full salads, and full salads are fifteen hundred dollars. Never a BBC again. I'll probably start making my salads from now on, but I was hungry, so I got this one. So let me open it up. I'm just using my regular fork because, yeah. So I'm gonna have my salad for lunch and yeah. You guys wanna say hi to Casper? Casper! Hi, Casper! Yes! Your, your fans miss you. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You see this guy? Let me move this off the edge before he drags it off. You see how I'm rich? Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Look at this guy, he's about to find me. Then I should be going to Fontana to get some sanitary. As I said, if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check it out and definitely try that recipe that I posted. I am really trying to be very consistent with YouTube. I don't think I've been.
so I've eaten most of my salad this is what I have left I'll save the rest for later that's a Friday festive look like some yeah everybody decides say uh, sun's out car clean because car wash full to make a quick gas stop because uh, gas is prices in Kingston are ridiculous so I decided to stop in Clarendon for gas which I mean it's eight dollars less <laughs> than what I'm seeing is in Kingston for what at the cheapest gas stations at this taxi tour it's like two hundred and five dollars per liter and when I was driving past Kingston yesterday like crossroads it was two hundred and thirteen dollars so you know what I'm saying? You know what? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, not doing it. Let's just hope them take card, you hear me? Let's just hope them take card. Yo, this must be a sign, this must be sample, this must be history. So I'm gonna go, and yes, they do run card, thank God. Right? Because I didn't have enough cash to buy gas. Because girl don't work with cash like that no more. I really don't. Anyways, so I'm gonna say, all right, run the card, but with a lot of places, you have to run the card inside because not everybody have the mobile um, card machine. You have to run it inside and then bring out your receipt, show them, and then the, the gas station attendant will run the pump for you. All right, cool. I got in and I saw he was running somebody else's card. The person was running somebody else's card at the time. I said, all right, cool. Go on through running so him go him run my card tell me why tell me why the paper run out tell me why as soon as you run the card the paper run out jesus be a sign and a shield and a sample car why the paper run out for me then it seemed like say them i forgot back dad i'm back before them get the paper for replace the machine the paper in the machine because man it takes a so long man not how it takes so long get Philip and say yo just tell the person outside so the, the card run become get tired y'all sort out the paper thing after come me cannot wait with Uno for the next 20 minutes cause it feel like so I was there for like half an hour and it's a it's, it's a three minutes transaction the three minutes involves me walking to and from my car so it shouldn't take more than that history this is history anyways I'm gonna head back to my head back on the road so I'm back on the road and doing my little drive so yeah back to the pre y'all see where I'll you y'all see where I end up you know safe and sound and doing God's work God's plan amen
heading home now it's yes i finished my day i went to floyd's pelican bar i went and bathed in the water i just had a good vibe it was so fun all i can say is it was a vibe it was cool i went when most people were leaving which was good because i'm mean, not like crowd so i didn't have too many people around me so yeah i get little photos and i was going to get a drink but people Y'all knows I keep it real with you. Y'all knows I keep it with me, real with you. Five hundred dollars are there. Y'all. In four hundred meters, slide right onto Black River to Pedro Crossroad. Y'all. 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 Story. So I'm there, you know, as usual. I'm gonna do road by myself. Why me? We need to stop the road by myself. Take the next right onto Black River to Pedro Crossroad. I may stop the road by myself because them things here reach me enough. Continue for eight kilometers. Always reach me. Them things here always reach me enough. Them things here always reach me. Lord, police is sent to serve and protect our clerk. I know after your girl. The police is sent to serve and protect are now after your girl because this must be what is going to happen. So there I am. Cute, dainty, Ornella. Heading over on a boat by yourself. So I went to the place because there are different different places and Google leave me one place. So I'm gonna go to the place where Google leave me. Alright? I'm follow Google. Now there are different different boats along the route, but this is the one where Google says I'm gonna say, alright, cool. I just go to the place. So I'm there, right? And um 
a guy sit so we go up to the girl so the girl the 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 parking person carry me to the, the lady who like collect money and she, they also have a little small cook restaurant right there so anyways a man is sitting down eating so he's like you want company so I was like sure so me swear says so like he's being cheek you know Jamaican people stay I swear say so okay this is the the boat man this is the boat cap this is the, the, the boat captain the person who going to steer the boat just being cheeky because him here said have somebody for care of the water not a backside this man really was just trying to give me to give me companies I swear I swear so the man was the boat man I swear with all of my heart that this man was the boat man no man was just eating fish and decided same one well, him see a girl that I'm like I'm going to follow her and be her company across the water so anyways but I reached the boat the boat guy is there you know boat captain and me just a bill right me just a bill 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 and a chill the entire boat ride over the man is asking me for a number it's like so I can't get your number I already know the 876 or the rest seven digits the man I asked me for the number I said no he's like so how you come without your husband Oh, I don't see no ring on your finger, you know. That means say you don't marry the what you waiting for. I said I don't know. He's like, hey, you sure I'm not playing? I said I don't know, you know, could be. He's like, so why are you still there with him if you're playing? Fair argument, you know, all of my serves them, him just a like, ignore. So I try, try, try as I might to swerve this gentleman. The gentleman decides to say him still a go persist. Anyways, when we reach, he helped me off the boat and he's like you know i don't think i'll be here when you come back you know because i have work to go to so i'm like okay well it was nice meeting you and i'm leaving girl what well, ended up, end up happening so when i called for the boat we did end up going in the water to wash off thinking so by the time the boat reach i'm gonna wash off me can't head back come you know end up leaving my arm um, St. Elizabeth, I'm leaving St. Elizabeth at 6 o'clock. I didn't want to leave St. Elizabeth from like 5 o'clock, right? Or, or at least 4 30, 4 30, 5 o'clock latest. Coming on too much darkness. You guys have, if you haven't listened to my St. Elizabeth story time about us and leaving it dark at night, St. Elizabeth dark at night. I mean, I want to be down here too dark. It's a good thing, say it's summer, so we can at least make it to Santa Cruz. Um, and because I'm in Lakovia, I can at least make it to Santa Cruz within an hour, in, within less than an hour. And uh, you know, Santa Cruz is a town, so it's a little bit more light. And then I can get it, I can hopefully make it to Manchester while there's still sunlight. Anyways, backside, the man called some missed the boat that was going over because me too busy in the water, I never realized. Not to mention, could I get tech work on? I completely forget the man. Chat me up till me forget how the boat look. We forget how the boat look, you know, backside. Anyways, I had an idea and I had a little bit of an inkling. Because, you know, like certain things, your brain make register. So certain things did look familiar to me. So I didn't have an idea. Anyways, so I called back and I called back the person, the contact lady, and say, you know, I already kind of was in the boat. She's like, you're bathing, don't it? I say, yeah. She's like, yeah, the boat did come and gone by the time you leave. Anyway, I'm going to send back the boat for you. So she sent back the boat for me now, right? She, I'm like, and so I call her back and I say, you know what? Remind me of how the boat looks because I feel like I forget. And she's like, um, it's called so and so. Don't worry, your tall friend is back on the boat. Tell me why the man never reach work yet, Jesus. Oh, the man don't reach work. The man saying well, him decide when him hears him already. <laughs> him decide say we're gonna late for her. <laughs> The man has decided he's gonna be late for work because him air sem already. Him air sem already, so he has decided he's gonna be late for work. So him come, him help me on the boat, you know, real escort, and uh, spend the entire time, you know, tell me say him want my number. Him I try guess the number. He actually got the first digit of my number. Guess it. He's like, it must be a sign. You need to give me your number. I'm like. And he's like, so where you work? I'm like, so if I don't want to give me a number, must give must tell you where I work? Oh, make it make sense. So what you do? So I do listen. I'm not no means no you must respect when I say no, you know, so I tell him, 
He's like, you say you don't want a friend? I said, no, I don't like people. I don't want no friend because I don't like people. I'm going to pass this. Like, so you don't want a friend, you know, I can come to Kingston every week and bring your market goods, you know, bring you some tomatoes and some vegetables and stuff. No, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. The way food prices have been going, I was like, you know, a bit of a contemplation there. Like a brief second, I'm like, boy, you know, I really could use some vegetables. <laughs> I really could use some vegetables. But I was like, no, no, I don't want a friend. I don't really like people. He's like, me neither. But, you know, there's just something about you. I just get this energy from you, you know. There's just something about you. Anyways, uh, man chat me up, me I swear of him. I say he must, I'm, he's like, you know, I'm going to be late for work. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry you wasted your time. <laughs> man, he's like, I didn't waste my time. I saw you, you know. But, you know, it won't be a waste if you give me a number. Anyway, I'm going to spend the entire time. I tell the man, no, I do, I'm not interested. I do want a body. I'm not trying to look. I do want a friend. I mean, the market good sound good. But, you know, St. Elizabeth, for those of you who don't know, it's called the bread basket of Jamaica because they produce a lot of ground provisions and a lot of the food from Jamaica is me, is from St. Elizabeth because there's a lot of farmlands and stuff. But me say, no. And also, like, um, Appleton rum is from St. Elizabeth. It's made in St. Elizabeth. And I'm like, no, man, no, my good, my good. You must respect what someone I want nobody you know, and just thing and thing. And his man say, you know what? I'm going to call you Monday. I said, oh. <laughs> He's like, don't worry. I'm going to call you Monday. <laughs> In 400 meters, sharp left onto Lakovia to Mountainside Road. Man said he's going to call me Monday. Him come and follow me to my car. I'm saying, no, I'm going to take down your license plate number. <laughs> and I'm going to call you Monday. I said, okay. So you're going to shock. I said, I see. Take the next left onto Lakovia to the thing about it Continue the whole time Lakovia to Mountainside Road for 12 kilometers and you see the thing about it the whole time the man was giving me police officer vibes you know the man was giving me he said you know yeah the man is like <clears throat> you're not you, you know I'm not usually out here I'm not usually out here you know I just was on my way to work and decided to more stop and get some fish because I don't live around here I live from this side I'm working at this side I'm gonna decide so I'm going to get some fish before I go work and we're running at you. So, you know, oh, your number. Anyways, Lord be a shelter and a shield on your child because what is this? What is that? This? Anyways, man, follow me out to my car and take down my license plate number. Jesus, please. Jesus wept and he wept bitterly because what is going on with the girl? He's like, hey, yeah, man. I'm going to call you Monday. <laughs> I'm going to call you Monday. So, people, 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 in the next weekly vlog, I'll update you if we get one Monday call because I am clearly being freed. Maybe I'm forget. Who's to know? The way a Jamaican man stay, I'm goodly forget. So, I'll update you guys. If I get the call, me look out and see if I get the random call from a random man on Monday. And you're going to be like, I don't even know how this, that conversation going to go because I don't even know. And truth be told, he didn't even have to do all of that. If he was really thinking, the lady obviously has my number because I called her. But I wasn't going to tell him that. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see. So yeah, people. Me if I stop go on road by myself. Me if I stop go on road by myself. It's always happened to me, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna get take my one. No, rebuke it. I will not. I will not. I'm not, not. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. But this happened to me enough in Jamaica. Uh, usually they're harmless though, so they're not too bad. It's not like a, they just a pre them not touchy feely. They do cross those boundaries, but man, Jamaica man can look at places backside. 
I need to bring some of my friends on here for tell for make you to make them tell you about some of these instances with me. It's always and that's the thing about it not all when I go with other people this reach me if I, you know if I make some of my friends them come on and tell you about so all these things always reach me what is about me <laughs> like one time me and my friends them go chuck up a zip line and thing and thing you know so the whole time one of those the instructors them take obsessed obsessed and ready for leaving house from Chilean if come come to me in a Kingston Yo, I need to learn how to be a fitness. I could be, if I was a fitness, I could be a rich, well taken care of girl who don't have to work, you know. Learn, we need to learn of fitness. Hey guys, I am home now. Changed out of the wet swimsuit. Gonna prep for bed have a shower and prep for duty tomorrow because tomorrow is another sunday duty anyways thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend watch the video let's get monetized bees <laughs> all right guys until next time peace see ya